All right, so before I get started on this video, I just want to say how much of a dumbass I am. Because I did say I was going to keep my AC, right? And I put the dashboard back in. <laughs> well, I have to take the dashboard back out to put the AC back in? I think I do. I really think I do. I'm a fucking dumbass. But today, um, taking out them spot wheels on the mount and might take off the front end too to be ready for the JDM front end conversion. All right. But Gotta, <laughs> I don't even think this is going to be strong enough to even drill out the spot wheels over there. This kit came with one that got like a, you know, like a little spot. You make it like a little pilot hole but then also wd-40 the spray on it so it gets stay cool so it don't heat up as much but it's actually like drilling through with this little ass drill it's an eight volt from walmart and man, i need a new camera man it keep blurring up every time i'm trying to focus on something Matter of fact, let me try and just wipe the lens off. Maybe that's gonna be the reason why. Uh, nope, still blurry. You know, let me change the camera settings. All right, much better. All right, so as you see, well, it's, and it's not better. Ah, damn. I had to stop doing that. Um, my boy Chris, he let me borrow his timing light because I was still wondering why the car still driving the way it was. Cause I changed the fuel filter, changed the ignition coil in the distributor, changed the wires, changed the spark plugs, and then also check engine light was on for the IAT. So I changed the IAT sensor. Cause when I try to drive the car, like it'll go, like, it'll go like this. Like say I'm trying to floor it in fifth gear, it'll go, but then it go like it like it hesitates really bad, like it's pulling timing or something. Um, it'll sound like it's misfiring um, at idle. So out of curiosity. I made a post on Facebook about, you know, borrowing a, a timing light. So my boy Chris, Lucid Bello, he got a boosted CRX. That thing's fast. He came down. He then borrowed a timing light. Come to find out, this thing was way off timing. So I adjusted a dizzy. But also, before you time it, if you don't have a Honda, get a paper clip. And there's a service connector right in the uh, passenger side under the glove compartment, which is this connector right here. Put a paper clip on both sides to jump it. But you can try to adjust the dizzy without doing this. But at the same time, when you do try to adjust it without jumping that clip, oh, that's gonna be for nothing. The ECU is just gonna set itself back to where it think it should be. So jump that clip. I'm loosening the three bolts on the distributor. Get the timing light. Get that TDC marked and lined up with the uh, the line on the timing cover. Good to go. All right, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Look like it wants to rain again. Literally only had like, what, two days to work on this car within like this whole week. Once I feel the first drop, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Don't stop till you feel the first drop. <laughs> Keep gunning. My boy Brian dropped off this drill. And I had to use like three different extension cables. But eh, let's see if I could uh, drill out everything else that need to be drilled out. <laughs> let's see. And then also, well, yeah, I already said that. I'm going to drill out the, uh, the front end so it can be ready for the JDM front. Let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, and it's out. Finally, goddamn. Now I gotta get a fucking sanding, uh, whatever the hell the shit costs, so I can grind all this shit down. Now I'm gonna see if I could, um, get up these spot welds so I could get it ready for the JD in front. I think this one right here, and this one right here, here. Um, here, here, all around here, 
as you can see. Um, and then pretty much the mirror image on this side and mirror too. Same thing over here. Oh, let's see how this go. Okay, one thing for sure, this shit is not for the faint of heart at all. <laughs> I'm halfway done on this side, but it's been like almost an hour. As you can see. So, <sighs> well, slow progress is better than no progress. You know? So, and it looks like it wants to fucking rain again, man. This shit's aggravating with this rain. One thing I'm gonna make sure you have while doing this, because this is time consuming. Got some snacks. Shit, drop the piece. These shits are good. Mm -hmm. What I found also make it easier is that I use a screwdriver and a hammer. If you ain't got a punch, you just have to punch. And it literally was drip, drilling through like easy as hell. Extremely easy. <sighs> so far, I'm halfway done with this side. And I still gotta get these that there and that here. And then on to that side. But I'm not even gonna bother showing that side because it's the same pattern, same shit. And down here, then there's like two more hidden down here, which was kind of a bit of a bitch to really get out. But um Yeah, so now I'm about to take a break and I'll get back to this. My wrist is tight. All right, now remember, keep the drill bit cool, use some WD-40. And when I say, you know, with the flathead and the hammer, it literally like just a couple wax and it goes straight through. Like it literally was going straight through everything. And then I have this heavy ass hammer tool, so making it go a lot quicker than I anticipated. But yeah, and then also there's some in here, but I also realized there's one more on the inside of over there too. And we're almost done. Almost done drilling out all these spot welds. At least I think. Cause this is my first time doing this. I'm learning as I go. <laughs> learning as I go. Also, I want to say, you know, people know how long I've been wanting a, a K24 ITR front Integra. That was my plans with Layla. Now I have my second chance. So anything you want to do, you can do it. You are the only person holding yourself back on anything you want to do. So many people told me that I couldn't do this. So many people told me that I should just stick with, <laughs> stick with basic shit. So many people try to keep me down. But look at me, I'm doing it. Learning as I go. Don't let nobody discourage you, man. Like, don't let nobody discourage you at all. Just get it done, do what you gotta do, and make things happen. Like I said, only you can hold yourself back. Some progress is better than no progress. Even if it take you like five years just to do something to your car or whatever you're doing, progress is done. So regardless, you, you're still doing it, right? So so right now, um, I'm about to try to figure out how to <laughs> actually put this damn uh, ready support off the car. And I'm not exactly 100% sure how I'm gonna get this off without fucking anything else up because i'm me like i said i'm learning as i go so i'm gonna take this ride to june um mr club long wharf himself and pick up this uh cutter and grinder other than that everything else is ready you just gotta get the mounts get the uh the the bracket sit it up there and line it up where the hole's supposed to be and then drill there and then that's it that's a fully k ready integra shell and then is fully ready for the JDM front end. So, man, yeah, so had to stop a shop and meet up with June Hachu. Let's go. What the hell happened here now?
not like I'm here to buy anything, but shit. 449 for all of that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I'm a nigga. I'm definitely a nigga. Little dick. Little dick. Got the lock, got the vlog going and shit. <laughs> Oh, three. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I got the um, front end halfway off. Yeah, you said you said it. Yeah. Front end, you felt it. Um, it's in uh, New Hampshire, but I'm starting to think. I'm like, yo, I might as well not even go for that one because he's missing the headlight. Missing the hood and just getting a pair of headlights for like another four or five hundred dollars. The hood, a whole another four hundred. I might as well just buy one from the depot. That's gonna come up to like a thousand or like twelve hundred. Yeah. Plus the fender on the um, I think it dropped the passenger side fender like fucked up too so finding them JDM parts is gonna be hard as fuck to find mm. yeah uh, DC5 Creations on Instagram he makes them and sell them he makes a whole kit yeah right mm-hmm I ain't paid for it yet. I got my food stamp, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely a word to my mother. Uh huh. Nah, that's definitely a back end yep. job. That's what I said. When I pulled out, I know I didn't hit the car in front of me because I would have felt that shit. That's definitely a back end job. Yeah, see? The hood. Bumper. Bro, and you can definitely see the dent from this side. Like, shit's bad. Now follow my boy on Insta. Yeah, follow me on Insta, man. I gotta go pick this shit up. I got a bigger one. A uh, bigger uh, Instagram one? Yeah, I feel like you can't see this one. At night, yeah, you can't because it's, it's, it'll be like a dark color. Yeah, I think I was gonna put my Facebook, but nah, Facebook hot. <laughs> 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 I think it might be a good day to wash it though. Yeah, today a good day to go fucking wash. Man. I can't wash mine because if I wash mine, this shit gonna fucking start to rust. It took me a while to get here because I had to um fucking do a detour. It was a cop coming up behind me, so I had to like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah had to do an alley oop. <laughs> had to do an alley oop. Front end is off. This part is reprimed. It's grinded down. I get the old front end. Now I'm just waiting to get the JDM front, my mount, so I can drill the hole for over there. And then it'll be she's pretty much a K ready ITR front. Wait, hold up. K-I-T-R front ready. There we go. That probably didn't make no sense. I'm going to probably play it back and then listen to it again and see if that made sense. But if if it didn't, I'm going to still keep it up here. I think, I don't know. To me, I thought I sounded stupid for a second. But whatever. All right, so now on to the story on, on the black one. This happened at work. While I was on a, on a route out on a route doing my deliveries and while i was out i um i kind of like started feeling sick like nauseous and i got in the car when i got back from doing you know finishing my route i um got in the car you know drove home like usually i like 
usually I walk directly like in front of the car and then I walk to you know driver's side door but last night so the park like right in front of the warehouse entrance pretty much um literally like, just walk straight out and then the car is like right there and then there's like parking spots on the opposite side where you could park like this so it'll be like one line here folks somebody to park the same exact way like that like right here then another line like right there and pretty much see perfect example how both cars are parked right perfect example perfect example so i end up walking from the back end of the car and i got right in the car got in turned the car on let it warm up and drove off Mind you, it get dark like around 4.50 now, 5 o'clock. So, and the car is black. So, I ain't see that until I got home. Got out the car. Then I seen like the white mark. I like, the fuck? Because I threw the street light directly across the street from my house. And I look, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I feel the paint chip. And then I feel the dent. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it's a huge ass dent. So, like, are you kidding me, bro? Like, come on. And then also, you know, they hit that. The hood scratched. Everything. So whoever did it, they were driving. They had him in driving the trucks. And they were backing up and literally just, like, scraped all of this up. All of that. Because when I left, there was a burgundy car parked in front of me. Kind of close. But I backed up turn all the way to the right and drove off now like if i would have had hit that burgundy car in front of me i would have felt all of this i would have felt all of that and it would have been burgundy paint up here would have been noticeable but there's not this is straight metal on metal so like i know i said this car isn't worth building because it's the rust and shit but on the car look good <laughs> I made the car look good than what it was. And also, uh, well, the more I drive it, it's like I'm liking the car more and more. Ever since we adjust the timing, the distributor, and now it's on time in the car, I actually drive so much better now. But, hey, what else I can do? One thing for sure, that's why that's my old hood. So just need a fender and just get that repainted and get another fender and get that repainted. But other than that, everything that I'm planning on doing today is done on the white Integra. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys like and, you know, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.